Mi gente, check this out, mira. Every once in a while, once in your life, you're gonna encounter a unicorn. Yes, a unicorn. What, what's a good example of a unicorn for me? Andre 3000, amazing lyricist, but nobody barely sees him. Nobody knows where he is. He doesn't make music, but whenever he drops a song, a lot of people go crazy, including myself. He's a unicorn. And in the barber shop that I work in, there is a unicorn. <laughs> and his name is Nata. Well, Nate. Naete. His name his name is weird. It's, it's spelled wrong. Let's not talk about it. Let's just call him Nata. So the thing to me that makes Nate a unicorn is his fading technique. Like his fading technique to me is, it does like, I wish, I wish, I only wish. Now, does he hit a home run every single time? I mean, do we all? No. And I just want to put that out there because I feel like for what he's going to do with his haircut, he could have done way better. And I'm gonna just keep it a buck with Nate. And he even knows that. How's it looking back there? So get this, Nate does not like being in front of the camera. This is one of the reasons I already consider him a unicorn, right? So he's a very talented barber, but he just hates being in front of the camera. It's the weirdest thing ever. So I've always said, Nate, one day you're gonna be on my channel. Like one day we're gonna, we're, I wanna show the world, I wanna show my followers how talented you are now. I also want to mention, like I said, he's done better than this cut. But when I tell you I'm happy either way that he cut my hair, it's because my is the sh Take it easy. All right, so I don't know if we uh, covered it before, but I'm going for a low taper. I don't want to go for the high taper because it just looks weird at one point after it starts growing back. It just looks like I have a helmet in my head. There's no, there's no blend. And because of that, I, I want to go for that low taper. Although the boy is going light on his corner still. So it's going to look off, off the rip, this haircut at the end. In certain areas, it's still not going to make sense, but I don't care. I want to try something different. I don't want to be a slave to my look. I want to do whatever I want. So I'm going for a little taper. If it looks a little off to you, just know I don't care because I like it. And that's all that matters. Okay. I feel after looking at this that I've been making my sections wrong this whole time. Nate, you're a unicorn. I also gotta let you know something about Nate. Nate just started using cordless clippers. These gammas right here are his first pair. For the longest he was using the cordless seniors, he was not believing in any of the cordless clippers. Nate is very, uh, Nate is very strong in what he believes in, okay? On what he knows. That's, what, that's how he likes to say, I don't believe, I know. He felt like he knew cordless clippers sucked. And I'm, 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 I'm glad to show you guys publicly that he was wrong. He likes this magnetic motor on this magnetic clipper so much that he, he had to buy it. So I'm happy that you did that, Nate. So, whoa, I just wanna also let you know how afraid I was of this number two guard touching my scalp because I didn't know how it was gonna look. My hair is a little thin on them corners now. Yeah, I Why you keep that in here? No, look at what you doing. <laughs>
Nate does not like is anything that isn't the one and a half guard white. The white one and a half guard. He does not like the prime. He does not like the babbless red one and a half guard. It has to be that white one and a half guard by wall. The cheap one that can come off at any time and can ruin your, your life. And by life, I just mean the haircut. A bad haircut can ruin a, a day for you. Like a bad haircut, if you have a bad haircut, that will haunt you for the rest of the day. So let's hope that that bad haircut isn't in the beginning or midday because it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be in there lingering. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna cover the surprise on the neck taper. I guess Nate, as he was brushing it, as he was getting prepared to start the fade on this thin behind hair that I have on my neck for a taper, he noticed a line. I don't know where the line came from. I don't know if I did it. I don't know what happened, because it's a perfect line on the middle, like where the, my spine is. It's the freakiest thing. We got the number two guard with, we got the comb and we are going with the grain. We are continuing this cut. We are still unsure where that line came from, but it's okay. Let's keep debulking. Now we have one and a half white and we're just going with the grain. This is the safer route guys. You don't want to do the risky stuff with this kind of cut. All right, we are proceeding with caution. We are going and doing our best to maintain the pattern, okay? And that's what Nate is doing. That's why Nate is not going so high with the clippers. That's why he feels safer using the shear of a comb. But there's something you must know too. Right before we get into this lineup, he's prepping the hair. Now, you know how I typically just spray down the hairline? He likes to use the spray himself, right? But he likes to spray the tss, tss, the the. <laughs> now edging it up remember how he prepped it up now we're gonna edge it up and by we i just mean nate no not that um and not that look at how look at that look at how crispy that lineup is coming out i'm gonna have to try this i'm gonna have to do it i'm i'm convinced that this could work out better for me and i'm just i'm just happy you know i'm just happy that i captured this i'm i'm very emotional right now i hope you can notice it on my face how happy i am that nate was able to do this in front of not just one camera, three, three cameras. Look at how ready and excited I am. Look at my face. Even Nate is excited, right Nate? For real? <laughs> Look at the crispiness of the C cup. Nate applies pressure when it comes to the C cup. Like he wants it to be as precise as possible. He uses that comb for everything. This comb should be sold one day. I don't know if Nate could ever sign the comb, but it should be sold. The comb held by a unicorn barber. Amazing, I'm telling you. Look at this. Oh, 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 and let me tell you, the mustache, mustache game. The razor game on the mustache. It gets serious. Yes, you know it does, Nate, it gets serious. Don't say no to me. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Look, I'm ready. Now, look, we gotta point something out. I'm gonna point it out before y'all say something on the comments section. He did irritate my skin a little bit, but it's okay. Even your favorite barber does it. it there's no, the, I don't care what y'all say to me on this comment section. There is no perfect barber in this game. Who, whoever you think is the coldest barber, I promise you they've had bad days. Let's get back to the nick. What's well, not a nick, it's just red. It's a line that's red and it hurts just a little bit, but it's okay. Nate, just don't hurt me again. Don't hurt me again, Nate. Please, my skin is sensitive. As you can see, guys, got a lot of acne or at least a, a, at least a lot of scarring and hyperpigmentation, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're just talking about the irritation that you left on my neck, not that. Let's apply some pressure right here. We're gonna go ahead and use the 245. 
shade zone. By we, I mean nata. Nata apply, but nata, just know that nata needs to put some different around my mustache area. I'm very sensitive around my mustache. I don't even like my mustache to be shaved real low. It's not what I want. Don't want the genuine. That is not what we're aiming for, boys and girls. Yeah, what can I say about my hairline? For those that are my OG viewers, you know how much of a struggle my edge line is. Like, it's, it's pretty bad. It's not the worst, but it's still pretty bad in my opinion and I don't want to use a guard on my S line. It's not necessary. It's not something I want. And when I say guard, I mean like lowering the edge line to get a crispy line. That's usually what most barbers do, but you know what, aquí mismo, what we're gonna do is leave it nice and full, okay? We're gonna leave it nice and full. We're gonna try to work with what I have and not worry about a perfect line. It's not what I'm going for. I don't care for it. I just want a full edge line. If it doesn't look perfect, I'm okay with it. We are gonna focus on just making sure I don't look as bad as I used to. We're gonna go for a new and improved yo f Mr. Barber, here we go. We are going to be gentle, all right? I need you to be gentle, Nate. I need you to realize I am struggling with my skin. My skincare routine is horrible, boys and girls. I don't even know what to say to y'all. It's a struggle. It really, truly is. All right, mira, mi gente, this is, this is straight pressure. This is the, the, the backhand for the mustache, all right? It was a little scary, I ain't gonna lie. I had to close my eyes because I just, it just felt so terrifying to have a razor on my freaking mustache. I don't get it done normally. I hope you guys remember how much I would let my mustache grow. And here's Nata with a freaking backhand over here with a freaking sharp object. And look, over the freaking pimple. Mira, Nate, you didn't have to do that, bro. I'll let it go for now. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's focus on these eyebrows. Um, my eyebrows, guys, are, they're unique. They're very light in certain areas. They're very dark in others. I think it's light around here because for some weird reason, I don't know if it's due to anxiety, if I'm in deep thought, I go like this, right? And sometimes I guess I just pull some hairs and it's super light around there. So I'm gonna try my best to stop pulling because if I do, it's not gonna look so good for me the next few years. It's not at all. But let's see, he's checking, I'm looking at it, and I'm telling him, you know what, papa, mira, pss, nata, bajalo un poco aquí. So I told him to push it down a little bit, and it's looking a little better. It's looking a little better, I like it. Now, let's focus on the corners. The corners, there's only so much I can do. Low density, cool, pass me the gun. We got the beam team machine, and mira, it's a little tss, tss, tss. you already know. That beam team XL is so serious, yo. If you don't have one of these, you're tripping. You gotta get that. Now, I know it's not the most unbiased opinion. Me and 245 are like this, okay? But come on, like, I've been using 245 for a minute, and I can tell you that there was a lot of thought put into that machine. There's only so much pressure you can apply, right? And in certain areas, I would have gone a little darker. But Nate, he likes to go for a more natural look. So that's why he didn't apply as much color as I would have liked. As much color enhancement. Let's not just call it color, boys and girls. Let's go for enhance. Would you like me to enhance your edge line? Yes, I would. Oh, and by the way, he cleaned my neckline with some more of that lather, that hot lather that he used on my mustache because I, I don't like the shaver i don't like the shaver to be used on my neck at all i bump up there's gonna be a lot of criticism on this cut i feel but i just want you to know it doesn't matter because i don't care mm -hmm. 
Sorry, we'll just have pink. We'll send it to the to yeah. the judge, the judging God. My lord, <laughs> my lord, what else thou think? Need to adjust thy clippers. picking up your slack bro I got you let me see you got the sign you have been baptized <laughs> Marco Buddha <laughs>